So, as soon as I got off the live uh, tonight, I couldn't believe what I saw. And uh, I think you guys will be shocked, too. It'll make you sick to your stomach. Um, it was really hard to watch. It's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. It, it for the life of me, it, I, it just, it seems like there's just not, there's just an endless ocean of people that are willing to sell out their entire dignity, flush their credibility down the drain and float in the shallowest water they can find with the most wishy-washy nonsense to, to, to virtue signal to a celebrity that would actually call the police on him if they showed up at his door or, or if, you know, he just, just suddenly decided he didn't like you anymore. You'd get to live the hell's anime lived and, or heavy duty country or lacquer thinner, Larry, Johnny gobble just on. I can, I, this has been going on for years was never as dark as it's been this past month. But this this ought to just if this doesn't upset your stomach, I don't know what will. Just just take a look at this. This just the a pathetic just Simping. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to upload this clip. It's from my live on September 8th. So Ryan joins the panel and it's basically the time where he admits that Kylie exists. And the reason I feel like it's important to upload this and point it out because it probably gets lost in this live because a lot of... I would think you would be a little more interested in apologizing for yourself, Zab girl, for calling Xanime herpy lip. And going along with Ryan's fairy tale because he gave you some money and offered to, to buy you a computer. That you're willing to trash a very hardworking, accomplished woman. That is so far above you. Words can't describe it. And no, no, no. You don't apologize for yourself. You give this thinly veiled just shallow excuse for the crap this nut's been doing and he and and you tried to call this an apology and it was an excuse wasn't an apology it's an excuse but let's hear it just just an excuse a lot of the stuff we go over in these long lives it gets lost and you know people don't have time to watch the whole live they i hope nobody's watch some of them, watching which I totally all your understand. lives they're really long lives so if you're not there in the moment you may not ever see it right so i think it's really important there's a lot of things that come up that are really important so i think this is one of them because he explains why he thought she didn't and it basically admits that he was and 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 you're gonna sit there and pretend like it makes sense and we're about to hear how no, it don't make any sense. See, there's a problem, Zap Girl. If this excuse we're about to hear had any validity, there would have been other people saying she wasn't real and her parents hoaxed it for GoFundMe money. So, no, you're not going to sugarcoat it, Zap Girl. He not only said she was not real, he said that the parents hoaxed it for money. He said the grandfather was not her grandfather. He said the father was not her father. He said that Ellen, the generous girlfriend, had a bunch of links he couldn't understand. And that Callie or Ka Kylie was really a girl named Callie. And Callie was really a girl that was 30 years old. And he doxed them all. And then he tore into Xanime. And we'll talk about that in a minute was wrong and she does exist so i think it's important for everybody to hear and for everybody still accusing him of him saying that it, she doesn't exist we weren't accusing him up, of it he did true. say it it's not accusing well the reason why i thought of it is when i was watching that popcorn planet video with Xanime, he said 
can somebody please send me where he admits that she exists? Because I guess somebody had to set in the um, what good chat, does that like, do? no, Ryan said she exists. And he's like, well, just he somebody show me. I've never seen it. Like, he's basically saying that it never happened. He never said she existed. And that was like the big thing why he could not respect Ryan and why he had this issue with Ryan is because And what she did to Zanime and what he did to the parents and what he did to Ikidmel and what he did to Ronnie Jones and what he did to Tony and and what's been done to Zanime's family. Help me get it to that Popcorn Planet guy. I don't even know why I care, but Popcorn Planet don't care, sad girl. They don't care about your super chats and your new computer. I'll change my mind or I'll apologize or not apologize. I forget what words he used, but basically he would change the way he thought about Ryan. So I just thought it was important to show because he does say that here and he explains why he originally thought she didn't exist and now he does think she Hurry exists. Hurry up before I puke in my mouth. Wrong. So I do think it's really important for those people that didn't get to see this. Oh. There it is. Now, uh, I, I want to be the first to say this on Zab's page Woo. because everybody's going to go, oh my God, oh my God. I did think the little girl was fake. Do you know why I thought the little girl was fake? Because people who were making the little girl fake were the ones that we were taught that I personally was talking to. (laughs) The people that made the little girl fake were the people you were talking to. Ryan, there was nobody. You were talking to yourself. You didn't talk to anybody involved in this case. No one. No one. Just your imagination. But let's hear it. What do you want to do to to the main guy who's on the right track? You want to make... Do you hear this? He's going to go down... Now, here's Zab Girl making excuses for Ryan saying the girl's not real, and now he's going to tell us how they were purposely misleading him. People in Kylie's family were purposely misleading him. So, of course, he thought she wasn't real. The only problem is, Zab girl, every bit of it was in his imagination because he'd taken a little bit too much of something and been up a little bit too long. And you're so fucking view hungry you let him come on your podcast and not only say what he said about this girl and her family but slander several other people and then you joined in with the herpy lip nonsense listen to this thin shit make him look like he's on drugs he's crazy well um there's a reason why everybody thought that ryan one just one person that thought that everybody thought that except for the weak thin people that want gifts from you like zav girl the people who have no integrity the people who have no spine the people who have no backbone and want something from you they're the only ones that didn't say this dude's on drugs everybody else said dude's on drugs and they still think that, and they're not going to quit thinking that anytime soon. And this is just going to make it worse, but continue. Someone somewhere took these real pictures of Kylie Rodney, who does exist. I want to say that on Zab's page, does exist. Thank you. I thought she did not exist. Here's why. When someone's taking real pictures of a person and editing the real picture. Nobody edited any pictures, Ryan. The girl had one photo where she photoshopped the braces off her teeth like thousands of other teenagers do. That's it. There were no edited photos, Ryan. There weren't any. None of the photographs you showed, I hate to tell you this, Ryan, but the photos you showed with these comparisons you were doing, nobody thought they looked alike except for Crack Squad. All the rational people out there went, what the hell is he talking about? Those people don't look even close. To make the real picture look fake. How do you make a real picture look fake, Ryan? You're going to make people say, oh, she's fake. Go back and look at. And and so what you're saying is now, folks, Zav girl. Let's be killer. 
here's what he's saying that Kylie's family purposely edited photos to 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 put him off the trail of catching them hoaxing this. This is what he's saying right now that that he was so important in this investigation and he was so about to uncover the secret conspiracy that that her family pulled photos down off the internet and edited them and put them back up. Zav girl Hope that computer's nice. Hope it is because it's all you got. Your credibility went right out the window with this fucking desperate attempt at virtue signaling. And it, I mean, it's weak. Check its, check its videos. Look at the title of the video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight days ago is when I first started saying that. And, and you attack that guy. A guy that, that lived in Truckee, California, he knew the Rodney family personally, and unlike you, Ryan Upchurch, he had a personal connection to her, her family, the town, the community, and the kids involved. And all you had was Google and a calculator. Look at his title, Kylie Rodney, real or fake? He's making fun of you, Ryan. And he's about to show a bunch of pictures of her when she was a child because he grew up in the same town she lived in. And when he saw the police dump her personal effects out on the bottom of that lake and leave them lay like they were trash, it upset him. And you made fun of him. You drug him for it. Zab girl. Well, if you live there and you know that she's real, why are you insinuating she's fake? Nobody insinuated she was fake but you, Ryan. He is making a video, making a fool of you, because he's going to show pictures of her from when she was a child to date. He's making fun of you, Ryan. Whew. I think he just jumped on the bandwagon for clout. Jeez. Clout. If that's, that's what he was after, was clout. You think he, he, he found that laptop laying on the bottom for clout, and he, and he, and he cried for clout. What were you doing then, Ryan? If if everything everyone else done was for clout, what what are you and Zav Girl doing? Actually, case I, I do understand that one hundred percent. He could have been doing that, but is this the only thing he's jumped on since? After you roasted August him, called him all kind of names, laughed at him, get, insinuated he was yeah, everything no, but mean, what he was. You're you're exactly right. I just I feel sorry for this dude talking. Who is this? Mark with a liberty icon. You, sir, have issues. I don't know whether or not he just started just now or if he, you know. Can, can I ask all you idiots something that are sitting on this panel? M Maria Brown, Amanda Vida. The Zav girl, the virtue signaling view whore, Ryan up church and Mark. Let me ask you a question. Why is everything a conspiracy? What, why can't things just be what they are? What, why can't things be the most likely outcome? We're going to find out this was a tragic accident. And my wisdom leads me to believe there's not a shred of evidence that would suggest otherwise. But then again, I've got common sense, which seems to be lacking. So what, Ryan, what do you think then? Okay, so you think she's real. So do you think she was the one found in the car, yeah, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And I know for a fact you were tagged in this video a thousand times because I uploaded. Yes. 
He was tagged in that video because the video is aimed at making fun of the absurdity he was saying that she was fake. This kid was actually poking fun at Ryan. Are you tell me you guys aren't this dense? H how are you this dense? My version of Check It's video on TikTok, and about a thousand comments are trying to get you to go see it. What I don't are your have thoughts? TikTok. What are your thoughts on it? I don't have TikTok. Well, they're tagging somebody. That ain't what she asked you. There's a bunch of fake pages. There's a there's a fake page of me that has a million followers. There's a bunch of fake TikToks. I'm oh I'm too old for TikTok. Either way, um, that, have you seen shock. what they found at the bottom of the lake yet? Oh yeah, I watched uh, all of Check It's video. What do you think? <gasps> I think he's lying. Oh, really? see here we go, Zap Girl. So he goes from. I thought the girl was not real because her family edited photos to trick me and throw me off the trail. That's what he has just said. I thought she wasn't real because her family took photos down off the internet and edited them. He was talking to them, by the way, these people he was talking to. And they edited the photos. And they put them back up to throw him off because he was coming smoking up their trail and they didn't want to get caught. What were they going to get caught doing, Ryan? That they needed to edit photos to throw you off. But what were they going to get caught doing? I'd be interested to know that. What were these grieving parents going to get caught doing that they had to edit the photos, Zav girl? This is, I can't believe you put this back up thinking this, this somehow helps him. It just goes to show how desperate you all are. And could I have not stopped this screen at a better spot? That is the absolute perfect thumbnail of Zab Girl right there. The absolute perfect, that clueless, I don't know what fucking day it is, look. Really? Wait, yes. what do you mean? So do you think that he didn't find that stuff or do you think that it's no, not No, I think pilots? he found it, but I don't think it's real evidence. <clears throat> so you think that all that emotion was fake and that Kylie's nickname that everyone in that town knew on that sticker on the back of that laptop wasn't real. And when her grandfather came to retrieve it, shaking and crying, that was an act. Zav girl. Why did you put this video up? What, what were you hoping to accomplish with it? Just pour some more salt? Dump some more salt in the wounds? I'm telling you, this didn't help him. Maybe, maybe you might not get you might not get that computer now. Just saying. Okay. Think about I don't it. Believe, I don't believe anything that's connected. Look, with look at that. She's just so interested in what he has to say. She's just going to take him whole. You know, you know, Zav, your favorite, your favorite podcast of mine is the one where you started your podcast out showing pictures of Kylie from the time she was a baby clear up till she got her driver's license. And five minutes later, Ryan Upchurch came on saying saying she wasn't real uh, because he couldn't find any pictures of her, and you didn't open your damn mouth. You just gave him that look you're giving right now. Oh, how interesting. You're so clever. You're the best private investigator in the world, Ryan. Who would have ever thought the family would be editing photos to throw you off the trail? Whew. with sf investigates oh <sighs> i can't well, I, sf wasn't there he just provided his twitter platform to promote i don't know mark but i agree with him check it had found no hmm. he's 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 sus i mean it's it, it's 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 everybody's a suspect huh hey wait he, whoa, 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 whoa. so far everybody's suspect and everybody's some kind of sex offender so what's this guy's sex crime be interested to know. He asserted himself as a private investigator 
and um, he inserted he, he he inserted himself. I think you better do some more research here, buddy. He was hired. You hear me? He was hired. Nobody asked Ryan Upchurch to take to Google. And Kylie Rodney's family could not care less about a Ryan Upchurch until he slandered them. And now they got a lawyer that says he's going to pay for that. He created the media division between the family and what he was actually. You don't know what, what he his did. actual intention is, is, is meant for. And a lot of people bought it. Hmm. Well, he happened to be standing there with the family when they brought the car up. So I think he might know a little more than you and a little more than Ryan Upchurch. Maybe he should have got the computer. I bought it, and and I, I'm I'm one of those people that that bought it and believed him. And I'm. So you're saying he's lying? Okay, I'm, I'm not lying. In the past seven days, I don't believe him. I I initially bought him too. It's just that he he he. You know, see now this girl at the bottom, Maria Maria Brown, she knows she's listening to pure horse shit. I would guess she's the only one on that panel that that in her mind she's thinking, God damn, this is a load of horse shit. I can see it on her face, but she's gonna go along with the horse shit because celebrity. Zav girl. Just is is hoping she's still getting the computer. And think about this, y'all. Duplicating things. If you look at a lot of these people, these key players, there's all duplicate stuff of them. Whether <clears throat> was it? Were you under some impression that this was going to help Ryan in some way, Zav Girl? They're duplicate. Duplicate. Hmm. Whether it's purposely or impurposely, why, why did this laptop magically appear? After Let's go back to what is the most likely, Ryan, to see when you're sober. And you're of clear mind, and you're not virtue signaling for what gifts a celebrity can give you, you're able to think rationally. And a rational person would assume that when they tip the car over back up on its wheels to drag it out of the lake, it fell out the goddamn broken window. And they left it lay there. Yeah. That would be the most likely thing. Please continue. After 72 hours of, or, or even more than 72 hours of AWP's video being put out, what if someone that knows about this was like, oh, look, look, there's a laptop that they flipped the car over. Let's go back there. And, look, guys, I found this laptop. Why you think the cops, it took forever for the cops to get there. The Ryan, cops, the Ryan, did you miss the part? where he didn't give the laptop to the sheriff because he knew by the nickname and the stickers. You see, Kylie had those stickers made of her nickname that everybody called her. And she had put those stickers on some things along with the RAM sticker, you know, the random access memory sticker, you know, that was a RAM that you figured out it meant random access memory. Because it was associated with a computer hacker. That's that sticker. Okay, this was another sticker like that, Ryan. Had her nickname on it. And it was on the back of the laptop. The grandfather paid for the laptop. He bought it for her, Ryan. So, when, when this fine gentleman decided not 
to give the laptop to the deputy sheriff and rather give it to the grandfather. You didn't see that part? Or was that all fake? The cops that are, are good cops that are actually looking into this, they already have what they need. Why would they come out there for a laptop? And not to mention, well, as a man, I, this is just from my perspective, but I watched his entire video. I've never seen anyone did fake too. cry about finding a piece of technology. You see, Ryan, there are people out there that aren't jaded, rich bastards. And when somebody they know personally that's from the town, the small town that they live in, when, when their belongings are dumped out of the car on the bottom of the lake and left there like garbage, it's upsetting to people that have a heart, Ryan was a totally natural reaction for him to have. Because unlike you, he knows her. He knew that was her nickname the minute he saw it. AWP dove down there and found an actual body of a child and he come up and was just shocked. Did he cry? No. Why is this guy crying over finding a laptop? He had no personal connection to her, Ryan. The same way you wouldn't cry if my cousin passed away. But my cousin's mom would cry. Sort of like, sort of like that, Ryan. Sort of like that. I don't know what you're doing here, Zav girl. It's not looking good for you in that computer. I'm begging you to be kind, be kind, be kind. Oh, you gotta see yourself in the face of your brother. Hmm. Wow. I don't know what to say, man. You know, Zav girl, you're a piece of shit. You're a shallow, spineless piece of shit that doesn't have a shred of dignity, a shred of integrity. You'd sell your mother for four thumbs up and 10 subscribers. It's pretty fucking bad, man. Pretty bad. Whew.